What's going on guys? I'm back with another video and today it is actually to demo a little tool I've been working on for the multi-quiet player mod for the past few days and it is the MQPM texture tool and pretty much what it does is it allows you to apply textures to the MGO outfits and it also lets you apply Quiet's war paint markings, the butterfly marking around her eyes uh, it'll let you apply that to any of the outfits, except for gold, silver, and bloody. Uh, anyway, let's just dive right into this. So first we need to grab some outfits so I can demo this. Let's move that over there. And let's go with MGO. For battle dress, let's go with naked snake. Take that, put that in there. Uh, we'll go with hardened battle gear for normal and I'll grab one of the normal outfits let's go with mother base alright so now that we've got our outfits we can actually start up the tool here so it's pretty simple interface you just select a texture here let's go something we can make something pretty ridiculous looking. Yeah, let's go with the leopard print. And you just select your assets folder. So you want to go into the folder that you have the assets folders in and click assets. You don't want the base folder, you want the assets folder. And once you've done that, then you just hit process and that's it. It's done now. And then you can also apply a texture to the shirt if it's Naked Snake or the t-shirt. So let's do that. And now let's go on to another outfit, which will be the uh, Hardened Battle Gear. You want to make sure to uncheck that box if you're not using either Naked Snake or t-shirt. And let's put this on it. Now, um, if you want Quiet's war paint slash markings to appear on her face, then you just click the war paint button there and it'll do that. And obviously, with normal outfits or any of the non MGO outfits, the tool won't work, so you can't hit process. If you hit process, it'll just give you this message pretty much telling you that it won't work. But you can still apply the war paint to them, so we want to click war paint and that's it and all of the textures should be applied to our outfits let's go check them out in game alright so let's select quiet as our character here and there we go you can see that the war paint has been applied to her face and also the hardened battle gear has been retextured if we switch to another outfit sneaking suit see that mother base has the war paint and if we go to the battle dress you can see that uh, both the pink for the top was added and also the leopard print was added to the pants so that's what the texture tool does it's pretty simple easy to use there are a couple things to note though if you're using it with snake bite um, you want to preferably use it before creating the snake bite file because when make bite uh, scans files to add them uh, it leaves some folders that will con that will conflict when trying to build the snake bite file uh, if you do do that though there is a way to get around it so what you need to do if you are going to do that is go into your folder go all the way to the end and delete any folders here if you delete them then you can use the tool again and then rebuild your snakebite files and the other thing to note is that the war paint effects are permanent once you apply them you can't unapply them so make sure to create backups of all your files before using the tool Anyway, that's pretty much it for my demonstration of the tool. I will see you guys in another video.